My name is Kenneth Mack. I'm 57 years old. I'm originally from Brooklyn. I'm born and raised in Gowanus Projects. My father was African-American and my mother was Jewish. So growing up in the 60s wasn't too pleasant. Racism was at its highest point and we used to get ridiculed, called zebras, have eggs thrown at us, rocks, all types of stuff when we was a kid. I was introduced in, in the club scene to um, gain some freedom and I was introduced to cocaine, heroin, and things of that nature in the club. It developed into a, a serious habit. At first it was just fun, but after a while it was an area to escape from the realities of everyday living. If I wasn't using heroin, I would be laying up in some psychiatrist's office to keep me normal. But heroin seemed to keep me normal. Right now, I am on the methadone program with substitutes, the heroin, and I don't have to crave for the heroin anymore. It gives me a sense of freedom from active addiction. It keeps you from going out there and having to steal, sell drugs or anything else. And that helped me reconnect with my daughter and my grandkids. And soon I will go out there to visit them. And that's a beautiful thing. I go to my methadone program. I'm coming from my home up in the Bronx to an hour and a half. Everybody has different times. They get a take home bottle. If I pick up on Saturdays, I have a Sunday bottle. On Monday, I had to bring my bottle back because they want to see that we are returning with the empty bottles opposed to selling it on the street. The cops will be riding by and they'll say, you, come over here. And they'll tell you to empty your pockets. They made me take my socks off in the street to see if I had something in my shoes. It's really degrading. If the police were to search me on a Monday, and my bottle is empty. They'll arrest me for having an empty bottle. They out there every day, so you don't know when it's going to be your turn. And I just sometimes don't go because I don't want it to be my turn. <laughs> 